Hey YouTube, Little Chucks here, or Shannon for short, whichever takes your fancy. I'm just going to do you a quick video about how to candle now. In here, summer around 15 days, the ones over here are about 10 days, and the quail eggs are due on the seven on the 27th, which is five days from now. But I won't be candling then for the simple reason they are too darker in shell pigment to be able to give an accurate reading of whether they're fertile or not. And plus with quail eggs, you don't have the chance of them exploding with, I don't know what it is, if you get a bad chicken egg it'll explode and trust me, you know when you've had one because they reek. Whereas quail eggs just shrivel up inside and dry out, so just got a mixture of the anvers, minor crotas or however you say that, pekins, and a few other bits and bobs, so you get quite a bit of variation on the um, showing. and. I'm just using an as the flashlight to candle, so here we go. Start with a salmon peeking. Just cup your hand over the end of the light, like so. Put the egg up, and hopefully. I don't know if you can see that, but the dark patch there and the veins. Oh, there's a good one. And there's the air sac at the bottom, obviously. Minor crotas, or however you say it, I don't know. I'm useless with names. There's your little chick, the nucleus, little black dot in the middle. And you can see all the spider veins. You can usually start selling spider veins from around five days, depending on eggs. Smaller banty breeds I would advise leaving to nine because the high intensity light can damage the cells and sometimes in cases of delicate breeds such as Saramas or sea brights um, they can actually stop them developing altogether so I don't normally candle my ceramas till around day 17 but each to their own I guess here is a the anvil egg but like I said just cup your hand in a ball on the end and put it at the bottom of the egg where the air sac is you see the veins pretty easy to spot in white eggs, can be a bit more difficult with browner eggs like Moran's or w whatever but eggs like leg bars, pekins and other white shelled eggs are really really easy to candle for anybody really Let's see if I can find an empty one to show you There's a older developed egg, as you can see, the older, more developed it gets, the darker it gets on the inside, and when that comes up to hatching time, it will be totally black. You'll just be able to see the air sac, and it'll just be completely black. But or you can get these which have started developing. I don't know there, the little black dot. But as you can, there we go. As you can see, it's just floating. As you turn it round, it's just floating to the top. So to me, I would hazard a guess and say that's dead because there's no spider veins in it at all. And it, what are are really brown. The eggs are rather empty. To say it's ten days old compared to say something like that. So. I hope this video has helped you and if you're a first time candler I hope you have good success with candling Oops. and that's all for now.